to my channel. Um, if you've never seen me before, then welcome to my channel. Um, yesterday I put up a miniature haul um, of some Freedom products that I bought. Um, some of them were eyeshadows. I bought this lip promo, which um, was this one in debut. Um, which I've got to say, I really, really love this colour. Let me just get close so you can see. I do, I feel really sorry that you have to look at this face, but I don't know if you can see how pretty that is. I'm just going to apply a bit more so you can see. That is gorgeous really really lovely and the lip liner that i'm using with that is the mua pink one i can't remember the name it's their pinky pinky one anyway um got to say really really like this it's it's gorgeous um i wore it all day yesterday after i done my video um i've worn it since i got up this morning and it feels absolutely beautiful on on my lips it's very moisturizing um and it just feels like it's it's melted butter on my lips it's lovely oh, trust me to think about food i'm on a fasting day today so isn't that typical that i've related it to food um right okay so the whole purpose of me doing this video today is actually a product review um, and the product review is on the Freedom um, Primer, Eye Primer, um, which I got in my haul. And um, the purpose of me buying this was because I was always seeing photographs on Instagram that have been um, reposted from Freedom and Makeup Revolution, um, like Colour Cult. Um, and it's you see all these beautiful eyes and how the eyeshadow just look so vivid and amazing and I thought I'm gonna you know I've got to give myself the best shot and try this and see how I get on now as a comparison I have also used the makeup focus and fix sorry makeup revolution focus and fix original primer um I'm just gonna come in close again sorry um, but I have actually used this this one on this eye and this one on this eye. I don't know if you can see any difference. Me, personally, I don't. Um, when you actually put the product on, that is what that looks like. That's is what that looks like now to me they look absolutely identical the application was identical they they even smell identical they look identical the texture identical um, application of my eyeshadow the only, that's the only difference that I could come up with was when I was putting my base eyeshadow on over the top of this it went on really smoothly and on this it did somewhat crease a little bit um, it could be because of the time difference because I applied this first and then this and then obviously once I'd flapped around and, and put my base eyeshadow but that's the only a thing that I can think of that would be different um, but other than that I mean even the size of the bottles are the same I'd love to actually just look at the ingredients and see if the ingredients are identical as well um, it doesn't actually say the ingredients on this product but it does on that but I will um, what I will do is I will list the product details of this and this so that we can see online but I mean this one feels a bit heavier 
but it could be because I've used this one quite a lot. But to be fair, I don't think you can feel the weight of the product in this anyway because you're getting such a small amount. Um, I think this is mainly because this is a a metal a metal bottle, and this one's plastic. Um, but as far as eyes go, once I've, I applied that base um, a colour onto my eyes and then I started working on the rest of the colours, I, I, seriously, I cannot see a difference between the two. So to say I'm slightly disappointed, I think would be unfair because I do like Makeup Revolution eye primer anyway um i i have a couple of bottles of this i've got one of these and one backup i've also got the brighton one and i've got about two or three backups as well because i just think it's a really nice product um but yeah i don't think there is any real reason to go and make a specific order from freedom just to actually pick this up when you could actually get this from makeup revolution or Superdrug. I'm not, I don't know if this is actually sold on, I'll have to have a look and see if this is sold on Superdrug. Um, but, yeah. So, my verdict, I'd say probably 8 out of 10 for both items. And the reason that I give 8 out of 10 is because I don't get that vivid look of eyeshadows that I was expecting to get. But then it could just be that all these photos have been manipulated in some way via Photoshop or via filters. Um, although I have to say, I would be very disappointed if that was the case because I always think some of these eye looks ab look absolutely amazing but I just can never ever achieve that look. Um, it's a bit like eyeliner really with me as well. I can never do winged eyeliner and the reason being is that I've actually got a small mole on my eye here, um, a skin tag and I say it's small, it's actually quite a large one so it means I can't do it. So I'm never ever going to have that look that everybody has with the eyeliner which is disappointing but that's just me. But yeah, that's my overall verdict. I wouldn't rush out and, and get this above... <laughs> Or you just throw it on the floor and it rolls right out so that you can't even pick it up. Um, yeah, I wouldn't rush out and buy it, especially. It's good to try, um, you know, and if you are putting an order in with Freedom anyway, fine, fair enough. While I'm doing this review, I'd also thought I'd mention the um, primer. I mean, I've been using the Pro Mattify Primer now from Freedom for a while. Um, and I thought I would actually do... A comparison on the two primers um, and again to stop any confusion I'm actually wearing and throwing things about again I'm actually wearing this primer on this side of my face and this one on this side of my face um, the application this one felt a lot smoother more silicone as it went on and it glided on easier this one felt more greasy I'll be completely honest, this has got gold glitter flex in. I have no idea why. Um, and the, a lot of you are probably going, oh, it's because it's illuminating. Do you know what? I don't think there's any difference between this side of my face and that side of my face. Um, because once you put foundation over the top of this, you're not going to see the glitter anyway. You're not going to see the illuminating effect. So, I just think it's a bit of a gimmick, if I'm honest. I do really think it's a gimmick. Um, I think they would have been better off just, you know, just doing the actual primer itself. Don't tart it up by saying, oh, it's got gold glitter in. I'll show you exactly what I mean, just in case you haven't seen this product at all in use. Um, if you look very, very closely, there is indeed glitter in the primer so let me just smooth this on the skin okay now bearing in mind that is not rubbed in I don't know if you can see any glittery flecks in there at all yes I can I can see one or two 
um, let me just rub this in and then you'll get a better view. It's all well and good. And if you're not wearing makeup, then I can understand. But then why would you have little particles of glitter on your face anyway? But to me, I just think, I just think it's unnecessary. I just think it's, uh, it's not a necessity. It's unnecessary. It, it doesn't serve a purpose as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, it's, like I say, once you've got makeup, once you've got foundation on over the top, there isn't really a lot of point to it anyway. So, you know, and this is 30 mils. This is 25 mil. So I suppose value for money, you're paying an extra pound because this is six and this is five. Um, depends what you want, really. This is more like... The old Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer. This is more like how it is now, where it's a lot um, runnier. It's not quite so silicone-y feel. It doesn't feel quite so um, so much a, like a coating on your skin. Um, but I have to say, I prefer that one out of the two. Sorry, Makeup Revolution. That's how the cookie crumbles, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, thanks ever so much for watching my review video. Um, I don't think there's really a lot else to say. I mean, I'll do like a close-up shot of my eyes, and you can honestly see that there is um, there is no difference at all in my eye makeup on either side. Identical. So I am assuming that by the end of the day they're going to be the same. So, but no, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, if you'd like to see some more reviews or you'd like to see anything else from me, then please do subscribe. Don't forget we're running at the moment the giveaway, which is a, a great little giveaway. Um, I will put the link in the box underneath. Um, but please, yeah, enter that. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Go find me on Facebook. Um, find me on Instagram um, and yeah, give me a look. So great. Thanks very much and take care. Bye bye.